Welcome. Today was the first time that I've been outside of my house since the beginning of this pandemic. I hadn't seen the sky or the sun at all. My room is four walls with no doors and no windows. So I went to the grocery store because I was running out of food. You can only live on like the cosmic energy of the universe for so long. I wanted to show you guys what would be the first things that I bought when I left my house for the very first time during this pandemic. First off, we have this Golden King grass jelly. So grass jelly is a kind of jelly that's made, uh, as the name implies, from grass. What you do is the farmers out in the field, um, they'll take the lawnmower, go right through it. You know those clippings of the, the grass's corpses? So the clippings are then juiced, and then you add uh, emulsifiers and thickeners to uh, hold it together. It's then chilled, canned. Delicious. Next is another thing I was missing so much. I can't live without it. It is lychee, lychee. I don't know how you say it. I'm gonna say lychee because that's yeah. how I know how to say it. Yeah. And it's lychee in syrup. These little balls of flavor are like the little beans in Dragon Ball Z that give you incomprehensible amounts of energy. One lychee can fuel you for up to five and a half days. <laughs> Sensu beans. <laughs> okay. Oh dang it. Okay. The third thing I bought while I was outside is a uh, jackfruit and syrup. 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 Syrup? Slurp. Slurp. So jackfruit was, this, was a, this fruit discovered by a man named Jack. The same Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack and Jill, um, all those classic stories. He's a very prolific colonizer. Despite its violent history as a fruit of colonialism, imperialism, communism, all the isms that you can imagine. It's very delicious, highly recommend. But next, you cannot have these three without coconut gel and syrup. So this is very special. See, we see here, these specimens can only be contained within a can. This one, on the other hand, can only be found in glass containers. Uh, that is because if they were in a can, um, the coconut gel would react, create this very specific chemical reaction that would then cause it to explode. Coconut gel. So being in quarantine for so long, I only have at around like maybe two or three shirts and I think four pants. So I was kind of just cycling through those articles of clothing for the past uh, however many months we've been in quarantine, and they were starting to get kind of gross. So obviously I had to get dryer sheets, because how else can you clean large amounts of clothing? While I was outside, I was getting kind of thirsty. I ran out of water back in May. Uh, my water was cut off. I was getting really thirsty. So I thought uh, it would be a good idea to get some 100% pure coconut water. While I was outside, I remembered that I had no way to actually open these cans, so I got, obviously, a can opener. This is a true living three-in-one opener. So it can, it's a can opener, can tapper, and bottle opener. I don't know what the two other things are, but three-in-one is a better deal than just a one-in-one. I'm not sure how to use it. I've, I'm a millennial, so I don't know how to use simple uh, kitchen tools, but I guess that's where I'll probably die in 10 years out of pure incompetence. Last but not least, I also wanted a savory snack. So these are all like sweet items. Here we have high tempura, spicy flavor tempura seaweed. Seaweed snack. Delicious with good nutrients from the sea. Seaweed, if you didn't know, is one of the most high nutrient beneficial snacks that you can get out there. This is what the 1% is hiding from us. If we, as a common people, were more familiar with tempura seaweed seaweed snacks, spicy flavor, the capitalist system would simply collapse. Thanks so much for joining me. If you do happen to get the chance to go outside, be safe and be sure to grab coconut water, grass jelly, lychee, jackfruit, coconut cubes, what are these called? Dryer, Dryer sheets. sheets. A can opener for the cans. Uh, seaweed. I think that's about it. This is all we need to survive the apocalypse. Thanks.